Welcome to iPhone New Zealand, you're with Dan and today we're going to take a look at the new um, Trade Me app that's due for release tomorrow morning at 10am. So this is the official app and not a third party one. So we'll open it up. Now when you first open it up uh, you get presented with the, uh, the login screen. So you enter your login details. And once you're logged in, you uh, get presented with this screen here. So here you've got shortcuts to your uh, watch list, the items you've won, items you've lost, items you're selling, sold items, unsold items, offers and your account. You've got a settings button um, just here and a search bar here. Tapping on the search takes you into um, search options and you've got, uh, you can search all, uh, motors, property and jobs. Um, if so, if you just select one of those, you get more options. So for this, uh, for the property search, you get category, and then you can go residential sale, and then it gives you a whole load more options. Um, so location, so it's very similar to the uh, to the search options that are on the website. Um, same with jobs, where you want to search, uh, the category, keywords, types, annual pays, and so on and so forth. And if you do a search on all, um, and we'll say we do a search for the iPhone 4 um, or an iPhone, you can see here it brings up a list of um, uh, suggestions for you. So if you did a search for iPhone 4 there, and that takes you into the uh, into the listings. In the listings on the left here, you've got the uh, uh, the gallery image. <coughs> And then you've got location, how many bids, how long is left, whether it's got a buy now. All the usual things that you're used to seeing on Trade Me are now available in this app as well. Here you've got a button for categories. Um, you've got a, a button for um, the sort order. So um, again, these are all the same options that you get on the website. Uh, you've got a... Um, regions button so you can go and select your regions now what we would have liked to have seen is that it um, uses your um, your current location using the GPS that's built into the phone but unfortunately it doesn't do that at this stage but I guess that can be built in at a later time um, and then you've also got filters uh, for bidding and buying buy now only uh, the condition of the items and so on so taking a look inside one of the uh, one of the listings at the top you've got your pictures and if it's got more than one image um, then you can uh, view all of those this has actually only got one in this one but you can see there the images are a very good quality and we'll just uh, turn that around so you can view it that way as well And then you've got information um, about it uh, down below. So it's got a buy now, it'll have a buy now button with your options there and you've got buy now. Um, if you want to place a bid, you can do that. Um, and again, you've got all the usual options that you'll get from the website. So you email me if I'm out bid, your uh, preferred shipping op options, auto bid on or off, um, and so on. At the very top, you've got a, a button for um, adding to the watch list you just um, tap that and you can see here if you pull down you've got the uh, the release to re pull down and release to refresh feature that a lot of apps now seem to be uh, utilizing so that you know if you're particularly watching a, a an auction you can just quickly flick down refresh it and uh, and see if you're still leading um, or if you need to place a new bid Below that you've got uh, all the options, uh, oh, sorry, all the description. And then you've got the bid history, questions and answers, shipping options, pickups, different uh, payment options, and then a, a bit of information about the seller. Um, in questions and answers, you can see all the uh, questions and, and answers that have uh, been placed on the auction. Unfortunately, you can't actually um, place a question yourself on here. Um, or um, if you're selling, you, you'll see in a minute, you can't actually answer any questions either. Bit of a shame. Um, it would have been nice to have that in there, but maybe that's uh, for, available for a future option. So back to um, the home. And you can see um, the items that you've added to your watch list here. 
and it's in the same list and then you've got some different filters there so ones that are closing soon ones you're leading bids on if they've met the reserve or not met the reserve and going into the listing is just the same as uh, as the other listing we saw there and here's one with multiple pictures and uh, where you can turn into landscape view also tapping on the uh, the, the watch list button removes it from your watch list as well. I should say when you first started the app it does ask if it would um, if, if you're, it's allowed to send you push notifications. Not sure what they're for, they could be for um, when you've got a, a listing that's closing soon that you're watching or if you're, one of your listings is closing soon or if you've been outbid but it doesn't really say anywhere what that's for. And then in my account here you can see your account details, how much feedback you've had um, and, and what feedback you've been given. What I did notice here is it's, I've got 111 positive feedbacks on here but up here it's got uh, an exclamation mark um, and the name's slightly cut off and it's just a bit, bit of a strange uh, look to it. Um, hopefully that can be resolved in a future update. It's just for, um, for buying, not selling um, and you can't upload anything at the moment but uh, uh, the way it is at the moment um, it's a very good first release um, and being the official trade me app it, it um, I'm sure will be the uh, the number one um, app for for trade me um, available tomorrow um, from the app store at 10 a.m. Um, and uh, we'll have a link up on the site uh, later today um, which will go live tomorrow morning thanks for watching